everything you need to make your home a castle that you've always dreamed of is right within your grasp. All it takes is a little creative ingenuity, a positive outlook, and the determination to tailor make your home into a functional and comfortable place for your family. On the Suburban Chateau, we will discover all kinds of crafts, decorating tips, gift making ideas, and gardening suggestions for you to implement in your little corner of the world. Join us for the Suburban Chateau. Hi, it's Stephanie Everett here for the Suburban Chateau. Today we're going to be exploring the art of decoupage and I'm going to be sharing with you some of the projects that I've been working on here at the Suburban Chateau and hopefully will inspire you to try decoupage when you're trying your next craft projects in your little corner of the world. When I think of all the decoupage projects that I've done over the years, this is probably my prized possession, my favorite one that I've done. And this is a beautiful piece. My dad actually made this dresser back in the 70s and it had a wood tone to it. And it was, it was a 70s wood tone dresser, but it is all wood. And we used it as kids growing up and it really worked well for us. When my girls were growing up, we needed a dresser for them in their bedroom. And I took this and had painted it white. Now you can see these decoupage panels held up so well, even when my girls were little. However, the paint on the dresser didn't hold up, hold up very well. So I repainted the dresser and I painted around the decoupage panels. And I'd seen something similar in a magazine that was more of an aqua colored paint, but I just thought the purple would go so well with this decoupage look. And I found these beautiful knobs at Hobby Lobby. I know I always mention Hobby Lobby, but it is a great source for us to find unique things. And um, this is just now one of my favorite pieces. Now, after I painted over it, it was a painstaking process to paint around the decoupage panels because I just love them. And if you look in my bedroom also, you notice, I'll show a picture of it here. I have a wall border that matches. That's what these were taken from wallpaper border. So I really love it that it matches the wallpaper border. Now down the road, I have plans to set up my own dressing area in the house. I am definitely gonna be using this piece as the centerpiece of that dressing area. So stay tuned, because you may see this piece again in another vlog, but maybe used in a little bit different way. But for right now, it's working great in the bedroom. So today I'm finishing up some decoupage projects and I'm going to do one from start to finish. Here is my beautiful plaque that I'm it's just finishing up a second coat drying and it's the little twin plaque that I made to match the one that I made years and years and years ago but it will balance out the dining room wall and next we're going to move to a really fun project and I've been kind of planning this decoupage project since the summer I bought this they were calling it a candle box so this candle box was $12 um, but it's as you can see it's it's ready to go, it's painted. I thought maybe I could use it to put letters or stationery or something in it. Um, now, I recently just put up uh, some wallpaper border in our entry hall. And so that's what I'm going to use uh, for my decoupage um, pattern. And I really like a couple of flowers out of this pattern. Um, I especially love that. I believe these I believe they're peonies. They look like peonies to me. Um, and peony is my favorite flower. So I think we're gonna focus on that guy right there and cut him out. And then maybe I'll get some greenery and maybe the yellow um, to the tulip. We'll see as I start to cutting in and see how it looks like it'll fit together on the box. So I'm gonna cut a little section off and um, I'll just start cutting and, and piecing it together and see um, what's going to look the best on the box. And then 
we'll glue it on and it's pretty simple to do decoupage, but it is sort, sort of a nice way to change something up. Well, I have cut out a section of the beautiful wallpaper border. I'm gonna show you exactly what that's gonna look like on our candle box. And I'm pretty thrilled with how it turned out. And I'm gonna put this at an angle so I can fill, fit in not only the peony, and I believe this is a tulip, but I wanted to get the little peony bud in as well. And then I have an extra leaf here that I'm going to try to also put behind the peony. So that's what it's going to look like as it sits on the candle box. So let's put some glue and get this decoupage started. Now I've got a nice layer of glue on our decoupage piece from the wallpaper border. And I'm gonna try to get it so it really looks great on the front of this candle box. And then I'm gonna go back and put down um, the extra leaf that I have. I'm being very careful about some of these edges of the delicate pieces, making sure they get glued down nicely on the first time. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of carryover with the Mod Podge, but I think it'll be okay. And then I'll be able to give it all a good coat and make sure it's all glued down. I am going to add this little extra leaf in here as long as I get it in while it's got a little extra glue on that guy. I had forgotten how much I really enjoy decoupage. I find it very satisfying. I don't know if it's the cutting them out or I don't know. I just find it very, very, very satisfying. And I'm going to pull this just up a little bit. Let's see if we can get Mr. Leaf to go down a little bit more in there. I think that's nice. And I'll put a little extra glue. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe off that one spot with a little bit of... Here's a look at our final project. I'm so pleased with how the decoupage worked out and I ended up using the box for cable storage. I always need a place to put my cables so it really worked out well for the function and I think it turned out to be a beautiful decoupage project as well. So I hope you'll try something really similar to this. Thanks for joining me on this edition of the Suburban Chateau. I hope you found some inspiration in the art of decoupage and you'll try it at your house. Have a great day.